LBC can reveal that people living in homes with unsafe cladding have written to England's Housing Secretary, Robert Jenrick, to try to resolve the crisis. They warn another Grenfell is possible, if not probable. Our correspondent, Rachel Venables, broke the story. Ever since the tragedy at Grenfell Tower more than three years ago, we know that the housing industry has been rocked by other fire safety concerns raised about buildings right across the country. And it's now thought that up to 700,000 people, that's roughly the population of Sheffield, are living in homes with unsafe cladding. Or more than three million people are trapped in unsellable flats, homes that have been rendered worthless with an up to 10-year wait for surveys, EWS1 forms, actually test the cladding on their buildings and make sure that they're safe. Well, now leasehold groups from all over the country have come together, along with the survivors group Grenfell United, launching a campaign to end the cladding crisis. And today they've written a letter to the Housing Secretary, Robert Jenrick, saying that residents are concerned, even appalled, they say, that he hasn't responded to their new requests to meet with them. They've given him until the end of next month for that. Lucy Gutfreund's one of the leaseholders in in one of these affected buildings and she signed this letter to Robert Jenrick. We want the go for the government to commit to take control over the entire process, to lead an urgent national action to remove all dangerous cladding from buildings within the next couple of years. We can't just simply leave this up to the building owners who are dragging their feet. We need government intervention now. We need for the government to allocate resources, more surveyors, or come up with a better system because the current EWS1 survey system is simply not working. There are not enough surveyors in this country. They've also come up with a 10-step plan to solve the cladding crisis. This includes the expansion of the £1 billion pound building safety fund they ask for a fairer faster process to replace the external wall survey forms which as we've been reporting have a 10-year backlog in places and they also want all dangerous cladding to be removed within two years well a spokesperson from the ministry of housing communities and local government says they are making homes safer they say they're providing a 1.6 billion pound fund to get unsafe cladding off homes and they said that work to remove grenfell style cladding specifically is either complete or underway in more than 70% of affected buildings. Our correspondent Rachel Venables continuing her reporting on this story and we will uh, carry on reporting on it for you.